Tim Ballard, Wood Turner in Tennessee. I'll turn something real simple today. Take a scrap piece of wood, a little piece of spalted oak, and turn it into a little bud vase. Some people call them twig pots. It makes real nice little gifts, real simple to make. Utilizes several lathe tools. And uh, you can turn these out really fast, quick satisfaction. And they're, they're really nice. They're not hollowed. They're just a drilled hole right in here for dried or silk, twigs, flowers, anything you, anything you like. So let's get started. Little scrap piece. You could screw a face plate. If it's a little longer, you could screw a face plate, put it on, turn it, part it off and you'd be fine. However, another way is put it between centers. That looks pretty good. I always do this. Make sure we get a, a real good bite. Kind of get it close, lean it out, get a bite on that tooth, and recenter it. So she's pretty much in there. So I'm going to put it between centers. I'm going to bring up the tailstock. Get this stuff out of the way. Here's a tip, when you put your tool rest in, you ever struggle with how high it needs to be? I used to, but not anymore, because I got a little piece of wood. And it doesn't matter how thick this is to you, as far as I'm concerned, what I've got, once I figured the height, I just measured it, drilled a hole, put it in here, no worries, just I'm at the right height. So, bring the tailstock up. In this case, got a little bark right in here, so I'm gonna throw it off center just a little bit. There's some spalting. There's some spalting in this area. I'd like to have it up at the top. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Check, make sure it's got a good bite. Tighten it, bring up tool rest. I always eyeball it with, with the table leg. The, just the length of this with the table itself. We're clear. It'll speed. I don't turn real fast. Especially larger pieces. You can get a little speed up on these, but that feels pretty good. That's about 600. There's no need in going crazy. However, I just recently bought one of these puppies made by Trend. It's got a it's got air, air flowing, constant airflow, and face shield combination looks goofy but works pretty well start with the gouge start with the gouge I'm about to lose my mind She's that place I always run to When the mountains get too high She rocks me like a lullaby She's my care 
We're almost there. Just trying to get it basically round, mostly at the base. She's that freedom down in a country road I'm on. I feel fine when I'm beside her As yeah, she moves me like a James Taylor song She's that peace the song breeze Just trying to get just an initial shape I need to work on this tenon Get it down to the size get it to fit in the chuck inside here to get it to fit in the chuck the chuck size got her here I'm checking here that's uh, it's a little bit undersized which is fine that's not that it's not that critical and once I have that I'm just going to set my calipers the same size, and that's where I'm at right now, so I can get a tenon on on this end. She's the hope. She's the Deep as blue, soft as It doesn't take much to get a little tenon. I'm probably going maybe a quarter of an inch. I don't need much to bite. It's not a very heavy piece. I'm going to go ahead and shape, get a little bit more of the shape before I take it off between centers. I've sped it up to around 800. She's my Caroline. She's that freedom down any country road I'm on. And I feel fine when I'm beside her. Yeah, she moves me like a James Taylor song. She's the water, she's the sweet red wine The light that makes the new moon shine ah. She's my Caroline She's that freedom down any country road I'm on And I feel fine when I'm beside her Yeah, she moves me like a James Taylor song well, That looks cool. It's spalting. I'm pretty close. I'm probably going to take this a little bit thinner. But uh, I think it's time I can go ahead and chuck it up. take and get this I want to use the center again just to make sure it gets aligned and you right up. Tighten her down.
That way when I take this out, holding pretty true. Okay, I'm gonna drill it. Drill it right here with this bit. I epoxied in an old file handle. Works pretty good. I'm gonna use the, the spot where the tailstock made its made its mark. Just drill it out. Alright, so I'm going to work on this entrance. Get it going. I feel fine, I feel fine. Feels pretty good. Let's get her sanded up. Are you telling me that I didn't get that? Well, wouldn't you know, I didn't turn the camera on for the sanding. But just to let you know, I went from, uh, although 80 is kind of rough, uh, I started at 80, 80, 100, 150, 180, 220, 320, 400, 600, and then finally at 800, and then just buffed it with a rag. Then I put on this Mylan's Friction Finish. Picked it up at Woodcraft. You can pretty much get it anywhere online. But Mylan's, and it goes on heat builds up from the friction and sets it just like that so sorry about that but here's what it looks like took a real nice finish some good looking spalting in there on this oak kind of worked on the entrance there turned out real nice so, I'm going to go ahead and get, get this cut off, and I'll show you how I finish the bottom. Alright, the tool rest back on, with a little spacer, set from a height. I like to back the, the tool rest way back, because I'm going to be catching this with my hand. Now, when I cut, come in here with the parting tool, I actually want to make it more than one pass so it doesn't get in a bind. And as I get in, I'm actually going to take and I'm going to cut a small arc in there so it only rides on that outer edge when you set it on the table. So I'm actually going to just kind of go in at a, at a slight roll. Till I get down to the end. Doesn't have to be fast again. I don't know, seven, eight hundred. Here we go. Gonna widen it up a little bit. Now back off and I'm going to start a little concave cut to it. Trying to 
gonna get a little nub in there. There we go. Got that little nub. We'll take care of that. If it's small enough, I'll just cut it off. That gets you pretty close. Now we're gonna work on the bottom. Okay, let's start sanding on the bottom. A few things out of the way. Get this chuck off. And I'm gonna put in a chuck, a drill chuck. It's got the little sandpaper. Velcro. So, put a little sandpaper on there. And just start working on the bottom. Change your paper out to a little finer paper. Finish it up. And blow it out. That takes care of the bottom. Sanding wise, take a little bit of this. Basically try to get the same same little bit of color. And just and dry it up. It does pretty nice. And one last step, put my signature on it. Okay, we'll use a little little Dremel. Sign my name. Jim, and that is the piece. We'll just put this one right alongside the ones from the beginning. There you go. Well, there's the bud vase. Very simple, quick, clean. 
A uh, great little project for, for, for beginners and also for the more advanced, just something to lay back and just enjoy a quick turning. Uh, quick, fast, and easy. So if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. I will see you next time and hope you guys subscribe. So take care. Oh. And please subscribe. See you guys. That freedom down in a country road I'm on. And I feel fine when I'm beside her. Yeah, she moves me like a James Taylor song. She's that peaceful song of reason.